Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. Today I have a couple of Zendikar Rising pre-release kits to open up as a personal break for Raymond S. So thank you so much Raymond for letting me open these up for you. This is just the first of a few different personal breaks today coming for some Magic Gathering pre-release kits. Like I said, we have these three for Raymond here. Up later we have a Zendikar Rising and an Ikoria Layer of Behemoths pre-release kit for Brian F. And then we'll be wrapping off today's personal breaks with two more Zendikar Rising kits for Nick S. But right now, it's Raymond's time to shine. Let's see if we can get any pre-release stamp promo mythics, maybe some borderless rares in here. Really, I'm looking forward to seeing what's in these because we've had some really nice kits from Zendikar so far. It's only been out not even a week, but I'm excited for more Zendikar openings coming this week. If you're not aware, I'll be opening up a lot coming up for Zendikar's release on Friday. We'll have at least one collector booster opening. We'll have some draft boosters. And I know we have personal breaks scheduled for draft boosters as well. We'll also be checking out, taking a first peek at those new set boosters. If we're getting in theme boosters, which I think we are, but I'm not 100% certain if we have theme boosters, I'll be opening up one of each of those. And if the bundles are not delayed, I'll be opening up a bundle as well. But right now it is time for Raymond's kits. Let's snap ourselves into the corner and get started. Now I'm going to just, I guess, line them up like this. Why not create a little Jace wall over here? I'll take this one and we'll start off here with kit number one. Now, since they are three of the same product, I'm gonna save till the end of kit number three to do our recap. But let's get into this one right here. If the little, if Jace was gonna get off of there, that'd be nice. But let's see, what do we have? Ooh, this kit's like backwards, that's interesting. But for our stamped promo, we have Orn Reef Ooze. A little green rare there. And then let's grab the six packs and for our pre-release die we do have the blue opaque die with the zendikar rising set symbol let's stick that back in there close that off so the arena code doesn't spoil and let's get started with pack number one all right this pack is just choosing to be a bit mean to me today that's okay that pack can do whatever it wants Oh, we do have a borderless rare. We have Needle Verge Pathway and Pillar Verge Pathway. Very cool. Nice modal land there. Let's put those up there. Let's straighten up these commons a bit. And here we go. Pack number two. We have Cherix, the Raging Isle, world's largest crab, and our first foil, Nimana Skitter Sneak. That is a common black foil. We have Crag Plate Balath, green rare. Fearless Fledgling, Showcase, Squad Commander for our rare. We have Skyclave Apparition, White Rare. And last pack of kit number one, will we get a mythic? We have Yasharn, Implaceable Earth, and no mythic in this kit. So we did get the borderless Needle Verge pathway and one foil and one other showcase card, but no mythics in that first kit. Let's get cracking it into kit number two. We have, hey, we just saw this dude. Yasharn and Placeable Earth for our stamped promo. Elemental Boar is a Selesnia colored, rare. Let's grab these packs. Looks like we have the white pre-release die here with the Zendikar Rising set symbol, of course. Let's close that on up. And let's get started. Pack number one, kit number two. Shatter Skull smashing Mythic right off the top here. 
with Shatter Skull, the Hammer Pass on the back. Very nice start to kit number two. We have Prowling Felidar Showcase. Canopy Balith right behind it. We have Luminarch Aspirant and a Foil Paired Tactician. We have Luminarch Aspirant again and a Cunning Geyser Mage. How many Luminarch Aspirants does that make? Does that make three? No. That was Skyclave Apparition in kit number one. But two back to back Luminarch Aspirants. This is quite interesting. We have Lithiform Engine. Very nice. Mythic here. Two Mythics, one kit. Nice on that Lithiform Engine. We have Crag Crown Pathway and a Timber Crown Pathway. All right, the last pack, kit number two. We have Soul, Sh Soul Shatter, excuse me, and Resolute Strike. Alrighty, let's go ahead and grab. Let's move everything over. I feel like the Mythic's supposed to normally go up there. I've been changing it up a bit, but I do like having the Mythic's up there. Let's get into kit number three for Raymond. The third and final kit for Raymond. Who is our promo? We have Ondu Inversion and Ondu Sky Ruins for our stamp promo. So three promo rares and another white die. Now, not bad. Hopefully it is a sign of good things to come. We did see two mythics in that last kit with the white die. Maybe it'll bring us some good luck once again. Here we go. Pack number one, kit number three. Inscription of Ruin and Foil Scale the Heights. We have Myriad Construct and hey, a third Luminarch Aspirant, this time Foil Rare. We have Aura, Skyclave, Herophant. Magmatic Channeler. Married Construct and Blood Beckoning. And the last pack for Raymond. We have a Spitfire Lagak. And here is Lithoforming, and that will do it for these three kits. Now, definitely some not bad cards here. We did get. Two Mythics, they both came from that second kit. We had Shatter Skull Smashing and Lithiform Engine. Also had a Foil Rare, Luminarch Aspirant, a Borderless Needle Verge Pathway, slash Pillar Verge Pathway. We had four different alternate art showcase cards, Fearless Fledgling, Prowling Felidar, Canopy Balath, and Spitfire Lagak. Man, we're seeing lots of foils in these pre-release kits. A total of seven foils across two kits. The seventh being that Luminarch Aspirant. And for our regular rares, let's take a look. 
We'll just go through them. A couple duplicates, actually. A couple myriad constructs. A couple of luminarch aspirants. Interesting collation here on the kits, but definitely not bad here, especially that nice mythic artifact. And then let's take a look. Before we forget, we had Orin Reef Ooze as our promo of kit number one. Yasharn, Implacable Earth, or Implacable Earth, promo of kit number two. And then Ondu Inversion and Ondu Sky Ruins, which I think we've actually seen the Ondu and the Orin Reef a couple times already. We haven't opened up too many kits, but this definitely was a fun opening here. Thank you so much, Raymond, for letting me open up these three kits for you, and I'll be getting these packed up later today and shipped out tomorrow, hopefully, as Raymond is from uh, overseas. So military overseas. So uh, last time I tried to print a label, it didn't let me. Boss Man had to manually do it at the post office. So we'll try and get that shipped out as quickly as possible. Uh, might have to be done either tomorrow or Wednesday, depending on uh, how busy it is. Because the post office here is really, really busy. So it is hard to actually go in and wait in line and still be here in time for the store to open. So, But I'll get it all packed up for you. So don't worry. It will be nice, safe, and secure for you and shipped out as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. This was a fun opening here. Like I said, we do have more Zendikar pre release kit openings coming later today and more different product openings later on in the week for celebration of the official release date this upcoming Friday. We'll have draft boosters, set boosters, collector boosters, and like I said, you know, because there have been distribution issues, I'm not sure what is coming in. Should definitely be draft boosters, set boosters, and a collector booster or two. And then it depends if we get in those theme boosters and bundles. I've heard that bundles are being delayed, but um, I'll know for sure on Tuesday. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I hope to catch you later today in the rest of our Magic Gathering pre-release kit openings. See ya. Bye.